Hey guys, unusual vlog here. So I want to point out an email that I recently got just yesterday morning or this morning, I forget when. Anyway, and it's a classic example of what I've been talking about for a long time now in terms of the difficulty in writing code. Most of the time when people run into problems when they're learning to write code or first learning to build their first apps, whether it be web apps or mobile apps, what have you, most of the time, the difficulty lies in some gap, some hole in your knowledge of the basics. So we have somebody here, and I'm going to show you the email in a second, where they are working on the PayPal shopping cart included in the IWD web stack package that I provide. And they have two questions, and they're moving along in the project. And both questions literally have to do with some gap in their knowledge of the basics and this is normal so let's just get into it so i hope you guys can see this so here is the first question question about the paypal project and um let me adjust the camera a bit so here you go question about the paypal project i don't understand these things so far so he points out here session type equals value so in the beginning of course, we had just session names, not variables inside session. What does this mean? Session variables, two square brackets, and assigning value variable. So what's going on here is maybe we have a session. Sessions are just arrays, whether it be sessions in PHP, whether it be sessions in uh, Python, whether it be sessions in any of the server-side programming language. So this is a PHP-based course. And in this course, you see that uh, the difficulty he's having is understanding the basics of the session object in PHP and assigning values into a subarray. When you have a square bracket in front of in PHP like that, that's just an array. Anyway, I won't get into the nerd specifics, but I just wanted to point out here was the first example. This is a new student. The difficulty is not in the complexity of the particular piece of code, it's just in a little hole that he has in his understanding of PHP basics, in this case, session. Not a big deal, easy to fix. All right, the second question, and he sent a photo of the code. He says, in the exercise, we made a category table with data, blah, 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 he sets the function. Uh, then we check to see if the ID is set. If not, we search a specific category. If it is, then we, we search all categories. Anyway, let me just show you what that is. Uh, this guy, I don't think his first language is English, which is cool. His, his English is better than my, uh, whatever his first language is. So that's all good. So he, this is what he's talking about. So we got a function called get categories and it accepts one uh, argument, ID, and it defaults to null. This is something in PHP. Anyway, if you don't understand this, don't worry about the specifics. Basically, what it comes down to this is confusion is this. This chunk of code here, if, and if this is false, it drops down to here. So what's basically going on in this particular situation, again, it's basics again, which is giving him trouble. If there's no indicated category in our database connection um, a statement, SQL statement, we select records from the table of that category. If it's not null, not null means if it's not empty. If it is empty, we just select everything from the table regardless of the category that's all it is it's um it's relatively simple it's very basic stuff but because he's still a little unclear about his understanding of basic database concepts in this case no not no etc etc it's a little bit confusing so not a big deal once again so once again this is actually not a big deal, but it's just a classic illustration of, again, you're building a fairly complex project, a PayPal-based e-commerce system. Again, this is in the uh, WebStack package. Uh, and he's having a little bit of trouble here and there because he missed some of the basics. That's normal. That's why in the system we have a certain style to help drill in the key com basics. And even with that, you're still going to have little issues here and there. That's why pure project-based courses are not very effective in terms of teaching people how to become software developers or programmers, coders. 
the key to a great course is to first cover those key fundamentals, drill in the concepts, drill in those key basics that experienced developer can point you in the direction. Like understanding a raise and session in PHP as an example is super important. And yes, even if though you cover it, you're learning a lot, right? When you're starting out as a developer, you're learning a lot. So it's to be expected, but you can have situations where you miss a few things. That's normal. That's why it's an iterative process. Iterative meaning you go back and forth over it a few times before it all sinks in. This is normal. Um, it's kind of like watching a, a movie a second time or a third time, a real good movie. And then you start seeing all kinds of details you didn't see before. Same thing with programming. Same thing with martial arts, same thing with business, et cetera, et cetera. So this classic example, building a pretty, I'd say a mid, you know, getting in a mid-level complex interest projects. And he's having a few difficulties and the difficulties are just in the basics. That's why you gotta do foundation first, then you gotta do little mini projects to start exercising your foundational skills. And then in doing the mini project, it's almost like, um, a self-discovery in that you're discovering where your own gaps in your knowledge is. And that's why you want mini projects. And you go back and you're, okay, uh, I, I don't quite understand what's going on here with sessions. So you just go look that up. You can go look that up, go and you read my, my foundation courses, or you just go to uh, online to php.org and do a search and you'll find all the information about that and you understand. And that's the process. It's, it's, it's a mistake to think that when you're learning anything, in coding especially, but you're gonna get everything right away. You gotta expect it's it's a massaging process, back again, over again, back again, over again. And um, it's always a continuous process of discovery. That's why I like doing mini projects most of the time because it allows you to quickly get through, quickly learn the stuff, quickly see where your gaps in your knowledge is, and then move forward. I hope this helps. This is a kind of an unusual vlog, but uh, 4th of July vlog. And if you're wondering what this is, this is my recording room where I record uh, my videos, um, not these live videos, but my, uh, my uh, screen captures for my courses. And this blanket is actually is one of many I hang up around to absorb the sound when I'm doing recording. Um, I just kept it here because uh, I didn't feel like taking it down. All right, that's it. Uh, if you're in a very hot part of the world now, because we're having a heat wave up here in well, North America, uh, you know, drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water. Don't stress, strain yourself, stress yourself. You don't want to hurt yourself. And, uh, but enjoy the heat because the winter will be here anytime soon. All right, ciao, ciao, bye.